Manitou Springs residents are on high alert for flash flooding this week. Storms last night left the ground unable to hold much more. KRDO News Channel 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us from Becker's Lane in Manitou Springs, where residents had less than a day to clean up the mess from Monday's downpour. Tyler. Yeah, Bart, you mentioned cleanup. You can see some of these sandbags set up by the homeowners on this corner. The Sawyers hoping to block off any of that water that might come rushing down this road as it did last night, turning that sidewalk into what looked like a red river. Now, the Sawyers, who I said live here, they've been here for about 24 years, and they say last night nearly tops the list in terms of the sheer amount of water they saw surrounding their property. Here's the video of that situation last night. The road along the side of their home was completely covered from their property over to their neighbors. Their front sidewalk totally submerged as well. The cleanup for them and their neighbors beginning last night as they shovel mud and move debris out of the way. They also said the drainage creek that runs at the bottom of their property along their back wall would have been flowing up to their chest last night. Fortunately, they had no damages to their home, but with the concern of having water coming from both directions, it's a trend that they and other neighbors are not happy about in recent years. It continues on down each house. It just goes down the sidewalk and then turns. And I think it's all because of right there. It, it, it needs to make a turn and go where it wants to go. You can't change where water goes. You can only help it and try to contain it. Now, the city of Manitou Springs says with this elevated flood concern this week, and just like Mary was saying, to take a look around outside your property and stay aware of the weather that's going on, they're urging folks to listen for the emergency sirens that they have set up around the city and to be prepared to take higher ground if necessary. Reporting live in Manitou Springs, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio News Channel 13.